Okay, ready? Yep. You're on. Okay. Okay. So, good evening. Or day. You don't know when they're watching this. Okay, well, it's, it's posted in the evening. But yes, it is. it is posted in the evening. So, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time oh. of day it is. Good Hello. evening. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. Please be serious. <laughs> so, I want to start with, um, I got to select what the devotional is about. Today. This week. This week. This week, yeah. So... Um, I'm going to take you right to the beginning, the very beginning. Genesis 1-1? One, one? Yes. The preface. <laughs> yes. Zondervan 19 or 18. No. <laughs> the, the beginning, though. And it says, do you know what it says? In the beginning, God created. That's exactly it. In the beginning, God created. Yep. Right? And... He had fun. Mm -hmm. He had fun. Yes. He's a creator God. He likes making things. Exactly. Just like we like making exactly. things. Exactly. So, I mean, that is the very first thing that is revealed in God's word is that God created. And I think that it's so significant that God is creator. That's part of like who he is. That, that's his essence, yeah. right? And so I want to talk about the fact that we are created in his image and so we're creators too. We are creators too. And I want to specifically talk about though, um, our, I think that a lot of us long to create or to have meaning. Don't worry about it. Anne's got it. <laughs> um, to have meaning in our life. Oh, I didn't want the, the ringing. To, like, it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, to have meaning in our life and in our work and what we do. Right. So... Sometimes, though, we're always searching for this grand idea or we buy into this myth that some people's call in life is greater than others. No, everyone's the same. No, I know that. If we but didn't have remember, janitors, <laughs> schools wouldn't run. <laughs> but, like... but that's the thing. Don't you remember when you were like a teenager or about to go to Bible college or let's here's a little Look, thing about uh, Luigi. Hang on a second. He went to school first to be a computer programmer. Uh. Okay? So, but that you buy into this idea that, especially as like a young Christian, a pastor, uh, a missionary, those things seem so I have a good example. Great. Can I give a good example? Yes, you can. Okay, so like in grade eight, uh, we had, there was like a host to YTV. I can't remember his name, but we were promised that he was coming to our school, uh, and and we were all like super excited. And then, sure enough, like uh, they wheel this television and they put in VHS and push play, and it, it wasn't him in person; it was a video of him, and everyone was very bummed out about that. Um, and then they proceeded to hand out uh, something test, the one where it tests aptitude. aptitude yes. Test. And so, obviously, everyone's like, so what did you get? Doctor, dentist, lawyer, right? And, and so, there were, like, the unwanted jobs <laughs> and then the wanted jobs. And and so, you know that they're kind of asking you about those questions. Or even the test itself had a lot of, like, all amazing jobs and nothing that was like, well, what, what if I do want to grow up to be a this that maybe is not you know, that well paying like everything else or right. And, and so it was like this big competition. You're right. So people look at it like, Oh, you have this calling. Oh, and I I've, I've never liked that. Everyone's calling is equally as important. We're all parts of the body of Christ. Each part has a part to play and, and lacking that means we're the whole body's in trouble. Yes. So that is to say God ordained work and it is inherently good and meaningful. Yeah, absolutely. It's important, no matter what you're doing. And so we can find creativity and meaning in anything that we're doing. It just depends on who we're working for. Who are we called by? God. Exactly. So if you're called by, I don't know, you work at McDonald's and you're, you feel like, oh, my manager is the worst or... I mean, I've worked at McDonald's and it was fine, <laughs> but you know, sometimes the manager might be the worst. Maybe they're I like a Burger King. power tripper, <laughs> pimply faced 19 year old telling you what to do. You're stereotyping? <laughs> no, but that could be your bad, that could be your bad boss. 
But you you got to take a look above that boss. That's not your boss. God is your boss. God is your boss. <clears throat> and everything, when we're called to create, we're called to create things to glorify him. Yeah. And so gl- our work and what we do is to glorify him. Now, once we accept that and once we acknowledge the fact that God has called each of us, um, what the most important thing that we're called to do, and Jesus says it in Mark 12, do you know what it is? Up to heart now. Okay. It's to love God. With all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And to love others. Yep. That's part two. Yeah. So... It's like what we're commanded to do. It's exactly. the only two things that are important. So <laughs> what ultimately, really, we all have the same big picture call mm-hmm. to love God and to love others. And how you do that in your very small, you know, uh, world view is going to be different. Okay, I have a question. Oh, gosh. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can callings change? Um, not the call to love God. And to no, love no, others. no, not those ones. Like, you know, how we were talking about jobs and stuff, right? Yeah, for sure. Some people might, maybe, I don't know, a job can just be a job. Okay, so this is, this is what I'm getting at. Because we, we started off with God as the creator God, right? Yeah. God can create things from nothing. We can't. There's a little bit of difference. But we are called to like make things and stuff right yeah. and we can all be creative in our own ways and i have like almost zero creativity but god still uses me to do creative things which which blows my mind uh, but there's this passage in the bible that i i, I will like never forget and i agree i don't know it off by heart but it, it's like with moses when they talk about making the ark of the covenant and uh and it says in there that God gave the ability to, and it names a whole bunch of people, uh, to be able to be metal workers, gold workers, fabric workers, like the list goes on and on and on as if they didn't have that ability before, but God all of a sudden gave them like that hunger, that ability, and they could after that. Right. And I don't think they were like, you know, in, in their 14 teens, early teens, figuring out about like, they, they were probably grown men who already probably had a trade, already were doing other things, maybe even in the military for Israel. But then God all of a sudden gave him this heart, gave him this call to do something different and gave him the ability to do it. So like, I never thought I'd be the, like a woodworker the way I am today, but God ignited that passion like more, more recently, not earlier on in my life. And so I love that. I don't know. Life's an adventure. God can call us to create in different ways at different points in our lives. And God can call us to different things at different points in our lives. Absolutely. Of course. And I mean, there's a time for everything, right? And so (laughs) there is a time for everything. And sometimes, you know, we may find ourselves serving in a way that is just fulfilling a need. And sometimes it's a deep, passionate call. It, but what we're doing is all about bringing glory to God. That's right. That's and right. if we do it with love, then that is... Yeah. So no matter what calling you have in your life, we're all called to love God and glorify God through it and love other people. Yeah. So you're right. Even, even if you're working at McDonald's and, and people get mad at you or you messed up their order or something, yeah. still love them. Yeah. And Patience. you're being creative in problem solving. You're being creative and making food or you're being creative in how you make other people feel you you are creating emotion and connection so creativity isn't always artwork it's not building things or doing stuff it is creating is and being creative is you know is loving people anyway that's it. All right. Well, let's pray. Yeah. All right. Father God, help us to be creative. <laughs> you are a creator, God. Remind us of the beauty, the beauty that we live in, of all that's around us. God, help us to appreciate and be thankful for all that you do in our lives, God. And help, help us to mimic you a little bit more. Help us to honor our call to whatever it is and honor it by honoring you and honoring the people around us, loving and caring for, being patient with. God, do what you need to do. God, I I thank you for 
this wonderful devotion. <laughs> and will you remind us that even though we may not be creative, that we all have a creative heart um, to be able to reflect who you are. Would you like to add anything, Boo? No, that's it. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. God bless. Have a fantastic week.